Good morning everybody, happy weekend. I didn't really vlog much this week because it was probably one of the craziest weeks I've had so far this year. So apologies for that. Um, but it's Saturday now and I'm filming through the weekend because it's a nice chilled one. And my mum is here. There she is, lurking in the shadows. <laughs> She's come bearing gifts because I'm actually not gonna see you until after my 30th birthday. So first one is from my nan and granddad. Look, it's hyacinths. They know I love them. They're like my favorite. So thank you so much, nan and granddad. Do they still watch the vlogs? Yes. I oh, they so. do. Well, thank granddad you. can hear them. Aww. <laughs> it's so pretty. They don't smell of anything yet. Let me give them a little water. I think he's on the train now. And then mum bought me these. These are like all my favourite flowers in one. Have I told you that I might be getting a tattoo? No. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Honestly. <laughs> you love it, don't you? How big is it going to be? Where is it going to be? It's going to be, I think, Not asleep here. Or anything. Just a tiny one. Under your armpit. By my boob. So you'd only see it in a bikini. Okay. I'll, I'll let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's not a fan of tattoos. No. Um, no, do you not no. like Alfie's then? Oh, it's dip. Oh, no, that's really. <laughs> Because I love bumblebees. Um, <laughs> See, I wanted a bumblebee, oh, wait, wait, no. but Alfie and Nick got matching bumblebee tattoos, so now no, I don't, I don't oh, want it to one look one like out. I'm jumping in on their cute tattoo. It it's going to be on your body for the rest of your life. I love how you're like, oh, bumblebees, yeah, but you haven't asked me what I actually want. Is it going to be something like a butterfly? Or no, I don't want a butterfly. Yeah, what do you want? <coughs> worried. Oh, won't it? <sighs> I think it might hurt there, yeah. Do you want to get one? No. <laughs> no. We're fine. I've never, I mean, I've only got two holes. Do you in not me. think, do you not wonder what it might, what it feels like? No. <laughs> I don't want to know. No, I don't know. No, I don't care what it feels like. Yeah, no. I really want, I really want one to just see what it's like. I, I mean, and also here is a very specific part of the body you yeah. wouldn't see unless you've got no. swimwear on or underwear on. Absolutely, it's, it's quite private. Yeah, I don't think I would get one that's very visible. Although never say never. No, no. I so might end up with a sleeve, say. Mum. This Does Nan or Grandad have any? No. I can imagine Grandad having one. I don't know why. No. Great Grandad had one. Doris. He had oh. my Nan's name on his oh, fist, yeah. but I think he did, get it my name, <laughs> he did it himself. I remember it. It was really. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was really bad. Just like to do. Yeah, it was not good. Yeah, I think he did it himself. Each to their own, and but no, not for you. Not for me. I'm too old. What about Joe? Got one. Uh. Didn't Joe nearly get one? Yeah. He does want to get one. Yeah. If I can't think I of what think I want to have, I won't. No, you're just backtracking. No, no. In all honesty, if I can't find a design I really oh. like or something that I really want, then no, I definitely, definitely sure. You've got to love it. You, you have, yeah, because exactly. It's there. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of people having them removed now that wish they never. And it's quite done. easy to have them removed. Is it now? Yeah. Is it? Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> That's okay then. So for your thirty-first birthday, I'll buy you some laser treatment to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I could always get Alfie, Alfie and Nala's star sign. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. Did you hear me? Yeah, that is not Because you're both the same. Nala, Alfie, and Joe are all Virgo. Oh, that's true. Are they? I'm Virgo yeah. too. Are you Virgo? You're not Virgo. I'm Virgo. I'm on the cusp. So I'm Leo Virgo. You're definitely more of a Leo though. Do you? No. I'm not a born leader. <laughs> I'm not a born leader. That's what they say Leos are. I think you're more of a Leo. I don't know. What is Joe what's and Alfie are the most of... Virgo Virgos I've ever known in my life. Yeah, I'm certainly not fastidious and particular. If anything, I would say Graham is more a Virgo than you are. And he's definitely he not is a Virgo. Virgo. Shut up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is he actually? No. Yes. <laughs> Virgo and you are and Joe is. Yeah. Why do we have so many Virgo? My dad is the ultimate Virgo. 
And he's Virgo too. Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I think because I'm on the cusp, I'm neither really. I'm just like... You should see what your moon rising is because that is sometimes what you're more like too. Look, it's so pretty. Right. It's so pretty. I'm going to put these here. This <laughs> <laughs> is on your head. Uh, he's on the top of my head. This is for your head. <laughs> All right. I feel like you need to have a little stick I and need, a flannel I over need, your I shoulder. Need, like, a radiator ASAP. You're right. Is he cheered up? Yeah. Good. What's wrong with you? Scared of the vets? <laughs> I know. It's like Bertie Uncle Clyde. <laughs> From Margaret River in Australia. Oh! <laughs> but there's some. There's some. Uh, Is this the for me and Sammy too? Passion, passion fruit curd. It's probably just for you. Passion <laughs> fruit, passion fruit curd. Ooh. Which I thought, you know, Wait, I've seen you since Australia. Life. Yeah, I know, but you always get to bring it down with me. Oh. You know, I was like, like, hang on. But yeah, uh, and then for May 2020, this goes off, so that's. Get on that pretty soon. Right. But it's, uh, I thought maybe name grandma like that. Yeah, curd. probably would. There's a spicy Shiraz sauce, mm. which is really nice, which I thought you might like. Shotgun. And then there's Shiraz balsamic, which Shotgun. I thought you might like. Yeah, I'll so go for that one. Balsamic. So I thought you might like the sauce. Perfect, one. sorted. You thought you might like this balsamic. Also, I love really this good. bottle a lot. Yeah, that's but cool. Try that's it. so cool. Try it. It's Shiraz. What it's Shiraz? Like red wine. Oh. But try it, because you will like it. Right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, put a little bit on your finger. Try it. Okay, can you? I think you'll like it. Why don't you have a tripod for this? <laughs> oh, you're actually... <laughs> yeah, how long have you been doing this job? <laughs> With those glasses on, you look like the guy from... Prisoners. Uh, Prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Look, it's because I have no makeup on. <laughs> Every time I put them on, I think... <laughs> 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 it's not really the best comparison either, because he was not a good guy. <laughs> He, wasn't he was a bit wrong, and, I think. This is, I've just eaten a curly whirly thing. Oh, you just put a little bit on your, on your finger. Uh, yeah. Should I should have shaken it? No, 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 no. It's balsamic. <laughs> I can't speak. Try it, try that. That would be nice over strawberries. Oh. It's good, isn't it? Oh my god. Told you. Yeah. We went to this, like, this, we went to this farm and they sell all this kind of stuff. It's like so sweet. Yeah. And I was so tried that and I was like, cool, that's my favourite one. We're going through trying every single sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought you were going to do that then. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Yeah, and the sauce is the same, same taste, but it's just more of a Ooh. sauce. I just told mum I might be getting a tattoo. What? What, today? I just told her. She wasn't sure about it. When? I said, I think Joe might want to get one. <laughs> you got the, you got the glasses on, you got the, all your chains on. Okay. You turned into a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting a tattoo on your face? I think like a <laughs> hair. Like a beard? Yeah. <laughs> a tattooed on beard. Um, do you still want one? Uh, at some point in my life, yeah. Yeah. See, but, I told you. But just to try it, it won't be visible. That's what I said. I just want to see what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, but you can do that. You can get tattoos. Why? With... There's lots of things that might fit. I mean, why? You can get, you can get tattoos without... <laughs> you look again, so it's much like, like Nan it's then. It's like saying, why, <laughs> it's like saying, why get your ears pissed? Yeah, Mum, why get your ears pissed? Guess oh, I bought you these. For, yeah, you did. For, you have a I guess my like, thing is you can change your earrings. And you can let the hole grow over. If yeah, or a tattoo. Your yeah. hole wouldn't grow over <laughs> now, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I open this? Yes. Oh, it's from. Yeah. Knowing <laughs> Mum, it's a box <laughs> within a box within a box. It'd be something. It's quite light. I think we have the same conversation every time we do it. What do you get, Zoe? I know. You're the hardest oh, person to. I reckon it's a. I reckon it's a brother for Alan. <laughs> I reckon it's another. Ducky. Because <laughs> why, why else would would she be there ready ready to go? Look. Thank you, Mama. Oh yeah. Thank you. No, I don't think it's a dog. There'd be no, a hole. It's not a dog. There'd, there'd be a hole in the top if it was a dog. <laughs> oh, no, there is a hole. <gasps> yes. <laughs> A really bad... Oh, or a badger. I, if you don't like it, I'll have it. The <laughs> <don't> <laughs> it's basically, mum, mum bought it for herself. And so actually Zoe can have that for her birthday. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I have all this pressure. <gasps> oh, I think I know what it is. What is it? Vegetable carrier. What? Vegetable carrier. Oh, that is yeah. so cute. Hopefully you're only... I got... 
And it's oh, that's, that's, really nice. that's, that's really so cool. They're called Sussex Trugs and it's made just down the road. In fact, they almost got them out of Sussex. A trug? Yeah. Is that what they put? On the bottom. Is that what Moses got put in? Sent down the Nile? It's <laughs> <laughs> a basket. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, thank you, Mum. Is it for putting veg in, right? In your garden, yeah. Ah. It's just it's something Look, that... here he is. Yeah, Kevin, he's them. signing it. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, Underneath, Kev. he's signing it. Is Kevin? Oh, <laughs> I love that. Handmade in Sussex. Hailsham, I think. It's Hailsham. Okay. Um, go on, Kev. Yes, yeah, yeah, Kevin. I know. Sometimes go on, mine's Kev. not as posh as that, though. And they should last you forever, really. It smells so good. Smell that, you love wood. Won't, won't, once you put your sprouts in there, it won't smell nice. Oh, yeah, it does, isn't it? I just read it from here. Thank you, Mum. That's really cute. I love that. I could take it when I go strawberry picking. Oh, my fucking hell. I spent like two grand on strawberry. <laughs> Look at me with my balsamic and my trug. Yeah. <laughs> Just say you know you're just say you know you're turning old. Yeah, what do you say? I really am thirty this old. That's, I really am. Did I say that? Yeah, I think you did. I really am thirty years old. Thing is though, when you get to that age, that's what excites you. I know. Well, I no? just thought, you know, you're getting into your gardening. And yeah. Trucks and jugs and clubs. <laughs> <laughs> you throw socks. Then I'll be a thug. It's gone from it's gone from step CDs to balsamic and oh my god and trugs. A sog truck. A sog truck. We just went out for lunch and I actually forgot to film it. But we went to Marmalade. Ooh, that made me jump. <laughs> Mum's just given us all some Easter eggs. Oh, be your lady marmalade. Da, da, da. So she got a Freddo one for Alfie and an orange Smarties one for me. Delish. Hopefully taste some orange. Thanks, Mum. Hello, Munchkin. Hello. Okay. Hang on, just turn you. You need to get lower than that, anyway. Yeah, you need to sit That's on it. your... Mum, um, you... Like that. And then catch again there and then turn me around again. Mum, you need to sit down. <laughs> You're not a fat bell. I'm scared to go for it. <laughs> right. Um, so go right down, right down. What, flat-footed or... No, no, no. No, no, on your tiptoes. Yeah, that's it. And then we... Then we twist, twist hands, change hands, that's, that's it. So we're going to catch you there every time to then change around. So, ready? so they go, get some momentum. Switch, switch, that's it. That's it. spinning, Joe. Switch. Keep spinning. Keep going. Ready? Come on, come on. Come on, again. Right. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Oh, you clicked. Oh, you clicked. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Good. Oh, no. Spin like that, and then have you got to switch back there, there again, just like that. Stir in the pot. No, 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 you need to let go. Fuck yeah, so, you. Just literally yeah, so, break my fingers. So what you've got to do. Okay. Just don't, start slowly. Don't go too fast. That's it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it really like goes fast. It's tricky, it? isn't it? That's hard. I learnt a lift as well. What do you mean? I learnt how to do a really cool lift. Oh, did I'm you? I'm lift you. I could probably do okay. it. Okay. But I'm sure it's hard floor. But we'll try. <sighs> so you've got a... So go like this, out here. And then you give me your... That's it, that leg. I'm, I'm scared. I'm how I do this. I'm scared. So I lift you up like that. Fuck. Give me your arms. <laughs> <laughs> over the shoulder, oh, over the back. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Okay, we're from <laughs> So Alfie and Zach have gone out to Hobbycraft because they really wanted to do some like arts and crafts. So me and Mum have requested a paint by numbers, <laughs> which I don't think I've done since I was like 11, which I'm actually quite excited to do. Um, but in the meantime, I really fancy a bath. You know when you're like, Oh, Nala, what's that little noise? And you're like, oh, I just want to get really cozy and warm. And I just really fancy a bath. So I'm going to have a little bath. Probably just a shallow one. A couple of bubbles. Maybe read a bit of my book. And then hopefully by the time they arrive, I'll be all done and we'll be ready to paint by numbers. I'm excited. When was the last time you did a paint by numbers? 
12. How did you get one for Christmas? I did. I painted one and then I remember you just kept it in the wardrobe and I thought you would frame it. Oh, really? I've still got it. You've still got it? Of course I have. What's it of then? It's of a fishing scene. Yeah, it's like a boat, an upside down boat or something. I thought you threw it away. Ah, that's cute. Um, That's what my plan is right now. Okay, out the bath. That was just what I needed. So I mentioned this brand uh, briefly on my Insta stories recently and actually lots of you have been asking me about it and have recommended it to me in the past, um, which is why it's a brand that I was like super happy to work with. So this part of the vlog is kindly sponsored by Native and I am talking to you in this section of the video as I'm about to put it on, um, my Native deodorants. Native deodorants are vegan, cruelty-free, free of any sulfates, parabens, and also free of aluminium. I am generally a aerosol deodorant gal, and actually for years, so many of you have been like, you really shouldn't be using that on your armpits, and I know I just felt a little bit like I hadn't found anything that I felt worked until I actually tried this, and I love it. I love that it's really gentle, it feels really nourishing, but also they smell great. Um, so the ones that I currently have, I've got cucumber and mint, which is nice for a fresh pit, uh, lavender and rose, and coconut and vanilla, which is actually my favorite one, which I've been using every day. So that's the one I'm gonna go for today. Don't mind me. <laughs> every now and then I see myself in the viewfinder and I very quickly think I have no top on because this is almost skin colored. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so Native are currently doing an offer where you can build your own pack of deodorants, which are usually $30 a pack, but I actually have a code which you can use, which is Zoe, um, and I'll leave a link in the description box, and that gets you 20% off the build your own packs. So it's a really great deal if you've not tried them before and you wanna give them a go. Um, and you can test out lots of different fragrances as well. So I will leave all that information in the description box. But as I said, the discount code is Zoe. So a lot of you might be watching this going, oh, I'm pretty sure she just said dollars. Maybe that means it's only available in the US. No, they actually do free shipping to the US, Australia, Canada, the UK, France, Brazil, and Germany. So there's a lot of countries that they will send to. So if any of you want to try it or, um, you know, see if you like it, I love it. I think it's great. They haven't asked me to say this, but I just wanted to show you because I just think these are the cutest thing I've ever seen, but also genius. When you don't want to be taking this I don't know, out to the gym or, I mean, I don't go to the gym, but if you go to the gym and you take your deodorant with you, you might not want to take that. Look at their minis. They are so cute. And I actually have one in pumpkin spice latte fragrance, which smells great also. Anyway, I'm gonna head downstairs now. I might put a little bit of, oh, I might do a face mask. Can you do a paint by numbers and do a face mask at the same time? Yes. I'm gonna do a little Tatcha face mask. Um, what, do I have a little spoolie? There we go, I love these things. They're like little spatulas that can help you put your face mask on. Um, if you're wondering what this face mask is, it's the Tatcha Violet Sea Radiance Mask. I love this mask. It really does make you feel a bit more glowy. I feel like, did I mention anywhere that I came off my pill recently? I'm not sure if I did or not, but I've come off my pill recently because when I had my second smear test, um, the lovely gym, oh my God. Mum, would you mind getting that? Thank you. The lovely Jenny said that it might be my pill causing me to bleed at my cervical smears. She said it could just be that there's a bit too much estrogen because of the pill. So she said, just come off it and see what happens. So I came off it 
um, and I was kind of dreading my my skin going wild um, because I mean I don't know if a lot of me having clearer skin is down to loads of other things I've changed or the um, antibiotics that I went on or if it was or if my pill kind of helped so I was a little bit scared I'm not gonna lie um, and this month uh, right before my period which is still due right around the corner and don't I know it <laughs> you just you become much more premenstrual when you're not on a pill I kind of forgot what that was like um, I had my first big massive hormonal eruption on my chin and I just was not expecting that at all and I was like no I've had clear skin for so long I really did take it for granted um, and I kind of knew it would happen because you know there's hormones in a pill you don't really know how they affect you until you can see <laughs> um, but yeah it's not too bad I um I had it it was there it was massive but then it did go away very very quickly like even today it's way less than it was yesterday so I think we're still good um, in terms of my skin mostly behaving even though I've come off the pill but yeah pill chat over which wasn't where I thought this was gonna go but you know that's just how these things happen sometimes now I'm gonna go downstairs and scare everybody with this Look at me, I look like a grape. <laughs> so it turns out we've got Ultimate Craft Club going on. <laughs> Everyone's doing something different. Lottie is crocheting. No, I'm embroidering. Oh, embroidering, sorry. <laughs> Alfie is getting the Christmas decorations out. I've smeared the box. <laughs> He's doing tie-dye. Zach is doing, what's it called, Zach? It's not a K, I can't remember. <laughs> it's when well, something's broken and you put, Oh. I lit it. <laughs> oh, you already smashed it. It's yeah, there, it goes that up right. that side, I think. No, oh, yeah, no. It no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. You can do your little back. Yeah. I think there's too many little pieces. I need to figure this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. then oh, me and Mum have got our paint by numbers. Mine's a pug, naturally. Mum's doing a Labrador. Cute. Uh, what are the rubber bands for? Oh, for the tie-dye. Ah, gotcha. And I actually can't remember the name of what this is called that Zach's doing. But it's where you glue something together and paint it with gold. And it has a really nice meaning behind it, which I'm not explaining very well. Traditional kintsugi. Ah. Yeah. Kintsugi okay, this is fun. Right. Kintsugi. Let's start. Kintsugi. Kintsugi. <laughs> home and mum's gone up to bed but I thought I would just quickly show you how far we got with some of the creative stuff we were doing so this is my paint by numbers <laughs> how cute 
Um, and then this is Mum's, which I have to say is far more intricate than mine. She's got a lot more tiny, tiny, tiny little things. I did discover that the ones that have arrows pointing into the spaces because they're so tiny, you want to do those first because once you paint over what it's meant to be, you don't know anymore what's meant to go in there. Um, but Alfie's hoodies look pretty damn cool. He bleached this one. It's going to focus. There we go. And then put um, dye on this one. But yeah, they look pretty cool. I think that one's my favourite one. I actually loved doing that. I left my phones upstairs and I didn't even think about checking them or doing anything for a solid, how long must we have been doing that for? Two hours, maybe hour and a half. Um, so it was really nice just to be doing something that required absolutely no brain power or thinking about other things or I don't know, I loved it. <laughs> And sometimes I get a bit stuck if I just have a plain piece of paper and like a pen or a paintbrush I don't actually know what to do and then I get bored quickly, but when you're following a paint by numbers You can't really go wrong. You just focus on trying to do what it's telling you to do, which I really like so if you need a new mindfulness activity, I highly recommend a paint by numbers. How do you feel about your tie-dye? Mm, I think I can get better at tie-dye, it was my first ever attempt, I'm, and I know my mum's going to watch this and be like, no, we did it all the time when you were a kid, <laughs> but as in, like, since I can remember, um, currently I prefer my bleach. bleach one, I like the bleach one. But I think once I make, because the one thing with the tie-dye that I didn't do, is I didn't make the colours exactly how I wanted. Diluting so, them and stuff. Yeah, so what I've done is I've been watching people on YouTube who are doing it, and instead of just being like, oh, green, blue, yellow, they're making like the pastel green they oh, want. Oh, nice. That's the yellow they want. Whereas mine at the moment are like bright green, bright yellow, bright yeah. blue. So I think once I like mix up the colours more and I like try some different patterns, different styles, I think it'll be banging. I might do one with you. Yeah. So it's quite a fun thing to do in summer because you could just put it outside. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It's dry. Yeah. Um, but we are probably going to chill now for a bit eat some biscuits, I'm getting a really bad headache. I can feel it coming. So I might need a little neck massage. <laughs> um, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, happy Sunday. Mum and I are about to make some Easter biscuits. We're gonna use the recipe from Cordley Invited. There it is, and we're gonna ice them and decorate them and eat some. You ready? Yes. I'm also gonna eat um, some cheese <laughs> Okay, first thing we need to do then is separate. Would you mind grabbing me one of the bowls in the very corner? This one? This one? That one, yeah. Separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Do you want to do that or shall I, I do, do that? Uh, you do that. I'll weigh out. Um, mix together the butter, icing sugar and vanilla and egg yolk. Okay. We don't need to weigh out that because this is 250 grams. Butter is in. Um, then you need to add icing sugar vanilla. Okay, so vanilla extract is two teaspoons. That's one, two. 140 grams of icing sugar. Add that in. Cream the mixture together until it's mixed, then add in the flour a little bit at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do this quite low. Okay, that's all mixed. Now let's add plain flour. So you want 375 grams of plain flour. I'm gonna add it a bit at a time. Okay, once it all com is all combined, 
Oh, feel that. Feels lovely. Oh, very pliable. Yes. Let's wrap it up. Gorgeous. And pop him in the fridge for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is up. Come on, Mum. Let's get rolling. Oh, I need rolling. to get my rolling pin out, don't I? Where's that? Uh, no, I think it's in here. Here he is. Ah. Right, fine. Should we put some flat out? short didn't you yeah it's a very short pastry you have to use quite a bit of flour and you have to cut them quite thick um but they will be delicious when they're yes. done oh siri <laughs> i didn't need you but thanks <laughs> oh i don't like it when they do that oh yeah i'm listening to everyone um, i'm here so we've done ducks eggs bunnies good old mixture um but yeah just make sure you are rolling it with a lot of flour and that you're cutting it quite thick so um it's time to do the icing you can either follow the recipe for royal icing that's in the book where you use normal powdered sugar powdered icing and an egg white or which i didn't realize until last year you can actually buy royal icing sugar next to the other icing sugar there's different types this is the one you need the royal icing so i'm going to measure out oh they do smell buttery Yummy. i think it is because they're more of like a shortbready biscuit so we need 225 grams. It's almost like you inhaled it. Why was I measuring out 90? Should be 45. 45 is half 90. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would have really ruined it. I'm pouring some of this out. <laughs> so for doing like line and just general piping you want it to be a bit like toothpaste consistency which I don't think this is this is still quite it's not quite toothpastey do I have to add a bit more of the icing is there any left oh yeah there is. okay I'm gonna mix some colors now my battery's running out but we've just done all the pastel colors we've got Pink, white, a mint green, a lilac, and a pastel yellow. And I'm just putting them into the piping bags. Let's move him out the way. Hello. It's now time to ice the biscuit. Are you happy oh, with them? Very, well, I'm happy with yours. I'm no, it's definitely stop. an art piping. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, this icing I think was probably a little bit loose and I snipped the um, piping bags a bit wide yeah, so they were quite was. hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are all our little Easter biscuits.
and we've selected two that they we smell. didn't like as much. <laughs> cross-eyed rabbit. <laughs> one cross-eyed rabbit and one purple duck. Purple duck <laughs> that we're gonna eat so we can try them. But the rest we're gonna take some pictures of tomorrow. But they look great.